Hi everybody, I am Amanda, the Undercover Yarn Smug. Uh, today is Monday, March... No, it's April. It's April 6th. <laughs> I have no idea where the time is going. It's just going. Um, but I have quite a lot finished today. Um, most of it I do need to show you on a separate clip in the video, um, another picture, because I've already sold them or given them away. And um, so yeah, I'll include those when I uh, talk about them. Um, but first off is my crochet hoodie. This pattern was by um, Yarnspirations on the website. Um, it, are, it uses the original Bernat Handicrafter cotton yarn, I think, or the satin. But I didn't use that. I used the um, Isaac Mizrahi Broadway yarn, and this color is Palace. It's a nice chocolatey brown uh, with different speckles, blue, yellow, pink, and um, it's really neat. It's just like little flecks of metallic in it, and I really like this. I like it a lot. Um, I ended up actually doing crab stitch around the hood here in the neckline and the little pocket I made. That's the only difference. Um, I added a little hoodie pocket, which I actually need to sew up the sides a little bit. Because I just noticed on some of my commercial made hoodies that they're sewn up the side. And that's what I copied the pattern for the pocket for. It was just a commercial hoodie that I have a ton of. Um, but yeah, I just love it. It turned out great. Uh, I think the pattern originally called for about five skeins of this yarn. And I did need um, an extra one. I think I bought two extra and I used just about both of them. So almost seven skeins of yarn for this but I love it like I said it's finally done and um yeah I'm a hoodie girl all the way so figured why not crochet one and this might not be the last one and unfortunately it's getting warm now so <laughs> probably won't be wearing this much till next year next, next winter but it's done and that was really super quick and easy to make. I uh, definitely recommend the pattern. Very nice. And um, there's all kinds of different alterations you can do to make it your own. Love it. So highly recommended that. And the only other thing that I have here to show you, I don't know if I can actually show you. Um, it's first of all in one of my knotty knitting sacks. So that ought to tell you what kind of item we're talking about, maybe. But it is the man pan handle. Don't really want to show you the whole thing. Um, but yeah, and it's a little bit decorative. It's got a little uh, single crochet surface, single crochet on it as well. I don't know if you guys want to even look at the whole thing. Look. But, um, yeah, I had a request from somebody at work, and um, this just shows you my sense of humor. This is the only tan or brown type of yarn I had, so I had to go buy um, that really light peachy color. I went and bought that, and the medium tan because I really didn't know what kind of skin tone they would want, so. But, like I said, the only one I had left, I didn't think would be appropriate. <laughs> I didn't, I don't, I don't even want to make it with this, so. Yeah. That's, uh, yeah. I'm weird. Um, let's see. The, <laughs> the next thing I finished... Uh, was a daffodil corsage. If you're on my Instagram, you saw. I made that for my grandmother's 90th birthday on March 9th. We had the birthday party March 7th, and um, there's a whole bunch of people there. She loved it. We all had a great time, so. Yep. Here's the picture. The daffodil, again, is from Happy Berry Crochet. That's a tutorial here on YouTube. And just scrap yarn. And next I have a video clip I will insert here, and it is the Easter commissions that I made for my boss. Um, 
Yep, and one other lady at work, she ordered two chubby bunnies as well. So she got the, two, the dark purple and the light purple, and then my boss took the rest of them, and I gifted one of the white chubby bunnies, which you may see here soon. So here's the clip. All right, here are the Easter makes that um, will be sold when I make this video. Um, there's a nice wreath. The daffodils are the Happy Berry Daffodil. Um, these are all YouTube tutorials. The eggs I got from Be Hooked Knitting and Crochet. Um, the cute little bee is from Club Crochet. And the butterflies are from Bella Coco. And I think this turned out really cute. Um, just a bunch of scraps. The green around the wreath is spring green, red heart. Um, but yeah, I think it turned out pretty cute. I like it. Hopefully my boss likes it. And she commissioned me to make a few other things. Uh, some chubby bunnies. Made a couple of white ones. See, in their little nose. And this is all in the Bernat Velvet. And a pink one. And another purple one. And then two more purples. <laughs> one is the um, Orchid Lilac, I believe, or Lilac Orchid. And the other one, can't remember what the darker purple is called. Amethyst, maybe. But yep, yeah, that's all my chubby bunnies. They'll be going goodbye tomorrow. And last but not least is the chocolate bunny. He is by Sorella. I believe you can purchase the pattern on Ravelry or even her website. I can't remember where I got it from. I will link everything, of course. And the piece of resistance, he smells like chocolate. I put him in a bag of wax melts with the brownie batter wax melts. So he smells really good and amazing too. Um, another commission from my boss, which I know for a fact is a chocoholic. So I know she will appreciate that he smells like it too. All right. Thank you guys for watching this. And yep. That's really all I've gotten done. Um, I had a little bit of a crochet block uh, when everybody went on lockdown for Corona, uh, which I'm still working by the way. Auto parts, we are essential. Um, they did cut my hub routes down. Instead of three trucks running four to five times a day, I have two trucks running two routes a day. So hours were cut, but I'm still working. Still have a job thank goodness at least that's what i'm trying to tell myself thank goodness i still have a job right <laughs> but um oh well we shall see but like i said that i've been waiting for more time i'm always complaining i wish i didn't have to work 40 hours a week i can have more time to crochet and then this happened and i didn't want to crochet go figure um i don't know if it was just because i was on a deadline for the easter things I just didn't, I didn't want to do it. <laughs> I didn't want to do it. So I pretty much had to push myself to finish those chubby bunnies and the wreath and the chocolate bunny, which I almost forgot about the chocolate bunny. I was looking for something to get me going and I was like, wait a minute, I need to make one of those. So I did and I love it. I'm probably actually going to make myself one too. It was really cute. Very quick. Um, so that's it for my finished objects. Like I said, not a whole lot. Crochet blockage, so I didn't get a whole heck of a lot done. Um, I did start one other thing, brand new, that I don't think y'all have seen yet. But I got a little bit done on my fire and ice poncho. And that is a red heart pattern. 
um, Fire and Ice Poncho on the Red Heart website are now your inspirations. And it actually is for the Red Heart It's a Wrap. But I'm using the Stitch Studio by Nicole Cotton Colors. And it's dark purple, light purple pink. I'm using my beauty hook that I got from Becky. I love it. And I'm almost down to the all gray. So we're getting there. And I'm just going to keep going and make it, you know, one whole skein of it. So, but of course it's at the bottom and the rows are getting longer. So it's taking each row is taking a little bit longer. And, but this is supposed to be a bit shortened poncho and then you wear it with the front side in the front. So like these are the shoulders, which I just noticed this the other day. It looks really huge. So I guess it'll be an office shoulder. Z. <laughs> like Z. Um, but yeah, it's really pretty. And let's little corners for it. Uh, I just love this pattern. It, I would say it's pretty quick, but it's like a fine weight cotton and a G hook and yeah, each row is getting longer and longer now. But like I said, we're almost there. Uh, let's see. I had a progress marker on this to show y'all. I think I had just gotten into the purple last time I showed you back in October. My progress is here somewhere. I know it don't look like it. Oh, yep. So I was right here. Just like I said, when it started getting purple and the light purple, and then it got a little bit darker. And now it's transitioning into the gray. But yeah, I mean, this is really beautiful yarn. Um, this is going to be a gorgeous poncho. And hopefully I get it done and can wear it this summer. <laughs> but yeah, that's definitely a priority now that my crochet block is gone. Hopefully I can start getting these finished. Uh, let's see, fire and ice. Stitch Studio. I'm so bad about telling you guys the pattern and the yarn. I'm trying to make sure I get it all on there now. Um, my next whip is actually some knitting. I can't remember if I showed if I had any progress on this last time or not. Um, but it's the Unplanned Peacock Studio in her twisted sock. And it's called Goth Chick, this really beautiful dark purple, which is the best dark purple ever. But yeah, um, I've gotten a few more rows in it. And it's so dark, you can't really see. But I'm just doing a basic, um, I think I did cast on, this is a 24 inch circular. So I just cast on enough to cover it. Um, it's just going to be a regular cowl that you can pull up over your head, um, like Mary from Mary's Crochet Chit Chat knitted, one of her first cows. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm really excited about this. And this one, um, this stitch is called the Irish Moss Stitch. It's just like, um, or they call it, I think, double moss stitch. But I want to call it Irish Moss Stitch. So there's that, and these are actually, let's see, a US 5, and these are the Clover Knitting Needles, which I'm actually really liking. The cord is nice, and um, it took me a little bit to get used to bamboo needles, but I'm liking it. I have no problems. I just don't have enough time to knit and crochet. Which I would love to do both prolifically, right? And the last whip that I have, and I'm really excited about it. This was actually one of my palette cleansers when I didn't feel like working on any of my Easter stuff. I was like, I have to do something. 
And as you know, we watch Z a lot. She makes a lot of videos. And I decided to go ahead and make the Just Feel Festive Shawl. So I am about one skein in. This is my increase side. And there's my decrease side. But yeah, um, I'm almost, almost halfway in. I have two skeins of this um, ice yarn. I'm using my little uh, yarn cozy. I was trying to kind of pull it out, but I have cinched it down all the way. Here we go. My little yarn cozy, addicted to yarn. Nicole, awesome. Once again, another Z inspiration. Um, but this is the Ice Yarn Cape Glitz. And it just says purple, turquoise, blue, I think. This is what they called it. Of course, the color's not on here, but yep. It was a bunch of purples. It started out... It starts out blue and then goes to purple and then like a fuchsia and then back to purple, back to blue. And yep, like I said, I got two more, three more colors on the first scheme to go. And it is sparkly. It is a lot like their Glitz yarn, just caked up. And actually, I think it feels a little bit softer. I had, that's the only other ice I ever had was the Magic Glitz. That um, it was in pink and I made a mermaid tail out of it. And I think this one is actually softer than that, but who knows. So yeah, that's all I've been up to. Um, I hope everybody is well and staying safe during this time. These very trying times. And y'all are not going out where you're not supposed to be. Like don't go to the auto parts place to buy a window tent. That's not essential. <laughs> Just saying. Or matchbox cars. That's not what we're there for, people. But yeah, like I said, um, I hope everyone's great, and I will see you again, hopefully soon, with a lot of finished objects again. Thanks for watching. Bye.